with this nonsense, brother? She says, I got a good job. I make very, very good money. And she says, the only thing I need now is a man. <laughs> it's like, yo, like, <laughs> like, who wants you? Who wants you? you? You're right. right. Like, once you have achieved these things, you have unfortunately disqualified yourself. But the women, women are going to hate him for that shit. No. <laughs> no, see, they are going to hate him for that. <laughs> I don't want to fucking hear it. It's Jeff Bezos' fault. Because why the fuck do you make it so easily accessible for people to get shit to their crib? Audio equipment should be sold in a fucking secure warehouse somewhere. That shit can't just be sold to anybody, bro. Why? Have you ever thought about the reason you ever look at a woman who is secure and say, hmm, I need a bitch a little bit more unstable? So these are the type of guys who equate money and power to their masculinity and manhood. They believe that that is the tying grace. And once you have those, you have reached the top of the fucking pyramid of masculinity. So whenever they see a woman with money and power, they equate that to her being masculine. And we won't even get into that kind of judgment because you are assuming that these women can't be nurturing just because they're good at what they do. It's hard. And it's hard to be hyper driven and hyper successful and balanced out being a parent. It's not easy. Nobody ever says it's easy doing it. I don't know where the argument comes from that says it's, it's, it's not easy. You're hyper successful. You're winning out there in the workplace. There's no way you can balance both. It's hard. It's not easy. It's really, really hard. It's really, really hard. Any parent will tell you that. To be hyper successful and take care. Taking care of kids requires a lot. Taking care of kids require a lot. So to be out there hyper successful and taking care of kids is a hard balance. There's nothing easy about that. If somebody can do it, it's not easy. If it was, a lot of people would be doing it, but there's not. It's not easy. So I don't know why that's not an argument. And even if they aren't, it's none of your fucking business. The exact same reason why you don't want your woman to be financially independent is the exact same reason why women are going over time to be financially independent. And let me explain that, is that the women been talking, uh, just like y'all grandfather sat y'all down and put y'all onto game, so did our grandmothers, my boy. So when your grandmother pulls up on you and says, yo, they told me I was a second class citizen and stupid as shit. So I had to have the kids and stay home. That was just what I had to do. We were taught that that was the trade-off. He went out to work and provide for his family while I stood home to take care of us. He took advantage of that. He started to bring me more pain than he did love. He brought me a child outside of our marriage that I had to take on the chin because that's what religion taught me. He would physically, verbally, and financially abuse me. And because I didn't have any educational background or prior work experience. At this point, at this point, every woman in our history was mistreated. Every, there was not one happy black woman in the, back, in the past. There was not one happy black woman in the past. That every black woman was upset. If we gonna keep pushing there, we gotta. This is this is the narrative women want us to understand. Black women, some of these black women get on this platform to tell us how their ancestors, the great grandmothers, was every black woman in the old time was mistreated. Now one had a good upbringing. Now one was happy. Every black woman was mistreated. That is what they're pushing at this point. Every single black woman that dated a black man or was in a relationship with a black man was mistreated. Everyone was abused, beaten, everything you can think of. It just, I don't know, guys. That's... I couldn't just get up and leave with my children. And after that conversation with your grandmother, your mother stepped forward and said, listen, I tried the whole superwoman, power woman thing. It's a fucking trap. She said, I got married through church so they couldn't shame me. I had my children in my marriage. I went to work. I provided financially for my children and I came home to my husband and I still live like a single fucking mother. How dare you? Do I don't know. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to tell you some things. The more we hear about the ancestors and stuff that happened, we, since the invention of DNA tests, we have found out most of them kids are not that many kids. Most of them kids are now we are finding out more and more and more that it wasn't only the father that was out here creating other families the mother was doing the exact same thing i don't know how they always highlight that the father was out here bringing kids and stuff like that hey man them kids at the house they ain't your kids they ain't your kids just like he's going out there 
to go create more kids, somebody's going to his house to create more kids. But they never want to talk about that. They make it seem like black women in the old time was just abused, beaten, and just destroyed. Because, like I said, since the creation of DNA tests, what have we have noticed? A lot of these people that think that that's my child and I've been raising him since he was 18, come to find out that has never been your child. You just thought he looked like you. That has never been your child. They will make it seem like the, the black women back then were just angels, saints. We People have to understand, there's no such thing as nothing but good. There's always good and bad. So the, the grandmas was doing stuff too. The granddads was doing stuff too. But they will always make it seem like it was just nothing but the man. The man was doing this. The man was doing this. It's a lie. You have to understand, since the invention of DNA tests, we have found out a lot of these guys are raising kids that's not their kids. In Jamaica, I believe it's 71%. Them guys are raising 71% of them. Them kids are not their kids. The saddest thing is that when you have conversation with some people, you hear that the kids say, yeah, my, my mom told me he's not my dad, but I'm never supposed to tell him. That man walks around the house doing that so-called work, taking care of both families, apparently. Who knows? Both families. And he's finding out that I only have one family. My kids are over there. The kids that's in my house are not even my own kids. Just like he was going out there to go sleep with somebody else, there was another man coming to his house to sleep with his wife. But the wife is supposed to be the angel. She's popping our kids left and right, taking care of home. And you're wondering, that boy don't look like me. No, nah, no, nah, you know, I only be with you. I don't go out. You go out. I don't do that. Come to find out those are not his kids. We are finding out nowadays that when you tell a woman, I want a DNA test to look at you like, why would you want a DNA test? What you mean? You know who that kid belonged to. I don't know. <laughs> we are finding out. And like I said, they will never sit here. They, they believe our great grandmothers was angels. They never did a sin a day in their life. It was perfect. They was out here being abused and mistreated, but there was angels that they, they, they took it all. They were just like, we're going to be strong for the community. That's not what happened. There are some black women now that do what they want to do. There was black women back then that was doing what they want to do sometime too. So we need to stop pushing this narrative like black women back then wasn't out here popping our kids that didn't belong to that band. It was happening. It was legit happening. It's happening right now. A lot of these guys that's working nine to five thinking that, oh, all three of them kids, no, they're not. And come find out there's none of them is kids. None of them, not one. None of them is kids. And we're not even shocked no more now that it's happening. You watch all these TV shows. You watch all these judge shows. They'll be like, it's not your son. It's not your son. It's not your son. The DNA is not your son. You watch all this Maury. It's not your son. Not your son. We're just like, wow. These women be so certain. I'm 110%. That's the father of my kids. 110 come to find out he's not the father and nowadays you you ask a girl i want a dna test some of them are terrified why would you want that so we have to stop feeding this narrative this woman talking crazy like i said every every one of our grandmothers wasn't beaten and abused by her husband we gotta stop saying that y'all gotta stop saying that every single one wasn't treated like that we could say some but not all we can say not all we can't we just yeah i gotta stop pushing this narrative like it was all our grandmas out here she was all abused and stuff like that everybody's not going through the same thing everybody's not going through the same thing they make it seem like back then was just awful i mean <laughs> apparently right now it must be amazing all these women complaining about the same guys again and here's the funny thing the difference between back then and now we get to see everything Back then, if them women was complaining, oh, he ain't do this, he ain't do that, you have to believe the gossip. That's all you have to believe because he's never home. Nowadays, she'll come on the internet. Well, I mean, he didn't have nothing going on. He was living in the streets and stuff. He ain't had no. You be like, and you still give him a child? He beat me sometimes. You still give him a child? He don't got no job. You still give him a child? Like, it. it it don't make no sense. Back then, we ain't had no cameras. We wasn't seeing nothing. Oh, nowadays, we see all of it. We have DNA tests. So we, we fact check everything. We checking everything. And when we find out these women be lying to us, they be lying to us. They make it seem like the guys are out here doing all the most disgusting thing. Women are doing it on the low. 
they're doing it on the low and some are more sneakier and more devious more devious they will sit there and say oh man be trying to trap you they be trying to da 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 well let him know if that son is his let him know if that little girl walking around is his why will i do that why why he want a dna test for it they're gonna start asking you a thousand questions you was ready to say he's a deadbeat he don't take care of his kids take a dna test they get real quiet when you bring up that dna test conversation they're quick to say child support he's a deadbeat when you bring out the dna test everybody's like mm. everybody don't want to say nothing conversation get real dry the minute you say bring that paper out let's see if that's really his kid everybody get real quiet Every, most of everybody already know that's the funny thing most of the family already know that's not that main kid he's the only one that don't know that but they're gonna blame our ancestors this our ancestors this the black man did this the black every woman back then wasn't all sweet and roses and stuff like that they were doing stuff too as we could see they're doing stuff to this day but guess what though these women raise kids and they tell them your dad is a deadbeat your dad didn't care about this this woman picked that man and this woman's doing all type of crazy stuff right now she ain't no better than him but she gonna tell you how horrible he is but she ain't no better than him and that's what we grew up on we grew up on hearing nothing but the mom's side you know your daddy's this your daddy's this your daddy's this your daddy's this come to find out she ain't no better but we ain't gonna hear that's that conversation we ain't gonna hear that call. We just gonna hear that one side of conversation where the dad is just the evilest thing that ever walked this planet. Like, comment, subscribe, guys.